in this lead, but there also was a 10-point lead in the fourth quarter. From that point on, where do you think it got away? Uh, well, we had a couple of uh, key turnovers um, that kind of started that, uh, you know, momentum shift. And then, um, you know, they just raised on us uh, in transition where we weren't getting out um, up enough to make them make another play. Uh, and then they hit a couple and it's all of a sudden now it's uh, a possession game and, and they outplayed us, you know, uh, down the stretch. Uh, they really stepped up their defense uh, going down the stretch. And um, we had a couple really good possessions and then they flattened us out, you know, a couple um, handful of possessions. Uh, you know, when you get up double digits, you know, we had uh, a few of those opportunities in the second half to extend the lead. Uh, and we weren't able to do that, and that was costly. The offense on the stretch, what, what did you see? Yeah, just nation? basically that. You know, a couple turnovers, a couple uh, possessions where they flatten us out. You do have to credit their defense. I mean, they have, uh, you know, quickness. Uh, they, they, they're disruptive, um, a lot like us. Um, so if you're not doing things with intention, um, you know, they can make you pay for that. We got uh, buried to the end of the clock, uh, uh, you know, a couple, two or three times. Um, but you still could win out, um, you know, even only scoring, you know, 97. We could have won out ugly just by getting some defensive stops, and we weren't able to do that. Their best offensive quarter by far was uh, the fourth, but also the last five minutes. That's where they're doing the majority of their damage. You had a real good support system through this win streak. A lot of guys contributing, some not as much today. Does this sort of show how much you need beyond Bam and beyond Jimmy to get performance? No, we had enough. Um, you know, like I said, it, it, it could have been, you know, the second year and the and, uh, um, second half was much better. Um, you know, I think they drove it to a 14-point lead, but then, you know, a couple of the turnovers and then the miscues, uh, you know, in, in transition. Uh, you know, we pride ourselves on our transition defense, and, and we got cross-matched where guys were wide open uh, three times. Um, and they don't seem like a big deal if you're up by 10, but those those matter at the end when it becomes a possession game. Uh, you know, we'll have to shore that up. Uh, but, you know, with all that said, we still could have won this game, you know, in, in a little bit more of a grind, uh, grinded out fashion just by getting our, our normal typical defensive stops, um, you know, down the stretch. And then we would have been able to... Have, um, you know, focus on our fourth quarter execution you know, like we have been and, and try to improve that with a win. The DeMar jumper that he made over Jaime, I mean, Jaime seemed to contest that rhythm well. Was that just a matter of the guy making a shot that he just... It, it um, yeah, and, you know, Jaime was introduced to a guy that really, he's a professional scorer and a professional foul drawer. Um, so it is tough to put pressure on him. You have to work on, you know, getting him out of step and then not letting him walk you back. Uh, he had a couple other looks in the fourth quarter that were just the same, but he missed them. Uh, you know, that one, um, he, it, it was his comfort spot, 16 feet, you know, um, right into his rhythm pull-up. The, the defense was good, uh, but his offense was better. Coach, a different question. What is the plan regarding Nikola Jovic? Now they, they were sent to the G League, and then he's played the Mundo Basque. gave you more confidence about his abilities in basketball. Yeah, he had a tremendous summer. Um, I was able to see his games uh, out there in Manila, um, and he's really progressed. He just looks like a totally different guy, um, and it's, uh, we're excited about have, having him play in these games in Sioux Falls. This is a big part of his development. Is there like a certain amount of time we may spend there? Or right now, play? it's probably going to be a four or five game stint, come back uh, to be with us, but then I want to send him out again, you know, hopefully for a little bit longer of a stint. I want him to get a decent amount of games and, and minutes under his belt. Okay. Thank you. What's your feeling about what the most challenging thing was down the stretch as you guys were trying to hold on? Um, I thought we got a lot of great looks. Um, I think throughout the game, you know, some of our shots didn't fall. I mean, defensively, we held them. I, what was that? What, it was like under under 105, something like that? Yeah, so, I mean, you know, it's just sometimes nights like that happen. Uh, you know, tough, tough shots at the end that they hit, I think. Um, but we just got to regroup uh, and then focus on Monday. Smo said you were introduced to a professional scorer and guarding DeMar. 
did you feel like you contested that shot well, the one that he hit there in the final seconds? I mean, yeah, I thought I contested it well. Um, you know, like Spo said, this guy's a professional scorer. Talk about a welcome to the NBA moment. I think, you know, tonight was one of those nights. Um, you know, he's just, he's a guy I looked up to a lot growing up. Um, just watched his game and then, you know, to really just being, you know, try to guard him live is it, it, something completely different. But it was all a learning experience, just trying to do what I can, uh, make him take a tough shot. Uh, you know, he got me a couple times, but I think at the end, made him take a tough one. But, you know, that's who he is. That, that's what he does. Talk to you <laughs> and with that, Gurley, like you were a little short on your stuff, maybe you didn't have your lift, and then it, it was almost like you were trying to make a statement with that emphatic dunk in the third quarter. Obviously, the first game may be back a little bit on an, an adrenaline. What was the second game back like for you? The uh, second game back was, you know, it was all right. Um, still, like, you know, seems like a work in progress. Just trying to get my legs and my feet up under me right now. Just, you know, trying to stay confident and comfortable with my body and, you know, and learn, you know, learn where I'm getting my shots and stuff like that all over again. So I know the first couple of games are going to be a little frustrating, you know, fill out games. But, um, you know, um, I'm more mad at that. Uh, about the impact I brought in the, um, you know, in the second unit right now. So um, I'm more upset about, you know, losing that lead and, um, you know, not really worried about, you know, what shots falling. That's going to that's gonna come as I keep playing, but i got to impact the game better than that. We kind of see their spots, Caleb's spots, when your minutes get up, especially at the end there. Are you sort of seeing that also, that, okay, I've got to be smart and cautious, but I can see where I can fit in X, Y, and Z? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I had a couple couple good looks. Of, you know, I should have, you know, I wish I could have got back and made those, but, you know, I, like I said, I understand it's going to be part of the process of getting back. But, um, you know, like you said, it, the, the more you play, the more you'll get more comfortable. And, um, you know what I mean? Just trying not to, you know, worry about it too much. Just keep trying to impact the game in a positive way and, you know, ultimately just try to win the game. So, Particularly in the fourth, what was the hardest thing about trying to keep Chicago corral? Um, You know what I mean? They had great momentum. You know, they were making shots. They got comfortable. Um, you know, again, uh, you know, I feel like they just got a little bit more comfortable on the offensive end, and, you know, they got good looks, off, <coughs> offensive rebound off missed shots. And, um, you know, they just they just made shots as well, you know what I mean? So um, that's part of the game. But, you know, again, that we, you know, um, got to be able to, you know, get better holding the lead and, you know, uh, finish out the game. Offensively, what do you feel like bogged down for you guys, especially in the fourth quarter? I don't know. I mean... I think we did what we were supposed to do in terms of getting the ball to guys, uh, you know, who we were supposed to. Uh, you know, um, they did a great job of blowing blowing early stuff up. To, it kind of took us a little bit to get in, in, into certain into certain actions, I felt like. So that, that, again, that just goes with their momentum. They were doing a great job of hitting shots. So that energized them on the defensive end to, to get the things early and, and blow up certain spots and, um, you know, early on. So, um, but overall, we had a, you know, had a chance to win. And, you know, we got to figure that out. And, um, you know, again, we'll, we'll be better next game for sure. So, Thank you. appreciate that. Thank you. Jimmy, we you look at the stretch down in the fourth quarter. We're trying to hold them off and get the shot that kind of gets them back. What was the most challenging thing in trying to keep them off you all? Uh, I mean, we just didn't, we didn't get no stops in the end. Um, we started out great. We're known for doing that. And then uh, we let it get easy on them. And they made shots, man, as they've done in the past against us and against uh, multiple other teams. Um, and we let one get away.